Like my schedule has been so bad. I'm tired of business needs. I don't care anymore. Ooh, it's tiny. The interview went well. They took it away because of budget reasons. And I ordered a camera yesterday. It has arrived. We're gonna open it. It is the Sony. I don't remember because all of these sound the same. So I'm currently filming on a Sony Alpha A5000 something. This is an old camera though, so I wanted something that wasn't gonna break the bank. This was the cheapest option. We're gonna open it right now. Okay, so this is the Sony. Oh my god, does it not say? All right, there we go. <laughs> this is the Sony ZV1F. Very small box. I did not get an accessory kit or anything like that because I have tripods and memory cards and all that. Even though I did see a really cool tripod, but when I read the review, it wasn't built for this particular camera. So I couldn't buy it. So we have the limited warranty stuff reference guide, the accessories you can get, and then the actual manual. Or is this the manual? Um, these are thinner than they used to be. Ah, there you go. Let's see how it compares to the one that I currently have. We'll see what this is in a second. Ooh, it's tiny. <laughs> It's definitely tiny. It feels kind of cheap. So this one, the viewfinder, the monitor slides to the side of it, whereas the Sony one that I have right now, the A5000 5100, um, it's on the top, which I prefer, but that is what it is. It's actually very pretty, but it feels kind of cheap. Like it feels super lightweight, kind of cheap, but honestly, I don't really care. Now let's see what's in here. When I say cheap, I mean like plastic. And here's the noise wind thing that you slide into this. All right, I'll put that on later. I bought some more batteries, but it's gonna get here tomorrow. We got the charging wire. So camera, the wind thingamajiggy, battery, charging thing. I am excited. We're just gonna, I'm gonna charge it and then we're gonna see how it works. Actually, let me see if it'll turn on. See if it has any power. There's an on and off button there. Aha. English, privacy settings, connected smartphone, Bluetooth pairing. Okay, let's do it. Launch the app from your smartphone to start pairing. All right, let me do that real quick. Just scan that. It's the Sony Creators app. Pair. Yay. Camera's ready to be operated from the application. Cool. So those are the settings. A wide variety of services, including cloud storage, are available free of charge. If you register your camera now, you will receive a 25 gigabyte as a gift. I have a job interview today through Zoom, and my room is a mess. My makeup's not done. I'm not dressed. So, yeah, I am, like, a little key panicking because I have exactly an hour to do everything. gonna start soon but I'm just paranoid to talk I was trying to film this with my other camera and it wasn't it shut down on me for some reason I have a new vlogging camera but we'll get to that in a second it's five minutes till my interview starts and I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared all right I'm done with my interview I actually finished a couple hours ago and I picked up my camera as soon as it was done but for some reason this new camera which I'll have right here was on slow motion so I have literally 15 minutes of footage of me talking to you but it was all in slow motion so it was not I couldn't use it my interview is done I just have a random clip in my hair this is I did not wear this for the interview it went really well I mean there was some awkwardness I'm a shy person I'm shy <laughs> so I'm hoping it went well they'll let me know by Monday it is currently the 31st so they'll let me know by Monday and then the last interview the in-person interview will be on Thursday the 6th, which is also the day that I have an appointment to get advised for school. So we'll see how I can make all that work. But I am happy that I did it. It's just scary to leave a job, even if it's not something you love anymore. It, to me, I'm, I'm still scared that I'm making a mistake and that what I'm doing is not what I should be doing. 
but I'm just really unhappy with my job and it makes me so sad to say that because I really thought I was going to be the last one standing there. Like a lot of my friends have come and left within the past year. And the reason I stayed was just job security because it pays well, well for New York City, well for the fact that a lot of stores continue to only pay $15 an hour. Um, so it's nice because it pays me more than that. But ultimately my scheduling kept changing and I my, have preferred off days or Sunday, Monday. I just like consecutive off days. I don't think that's too much to ask for. I like consecutive off days. I want to have like Tuesday off and Friday off and then have to work in between. Like that to me is not very restful. It's not my body doesn't react well to that. And it also makes it very hard to do content creation. I touched something on the camera and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, there we go. Sunday, Mondays were my preferred off days. I worked Friday and Saturday. Saturday is the busiest day of the week. And those used to be my off days. Friday, Saturday were my preferred off days that I was promised when I got hired. I had them for a year. And then when I went to the department that I'm currently in, the merchandising team, that's when they told me that because of business needs, I was not able to have those off days anymore. Um, at least consistently. Like I could request off, da 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 da. And if we had coverage, then I could have those days off. So whatever. Now, a year later, now they're telling me that I also have to work Monday. So I have to work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even though we were always promised at least one weekend day off if you're full-time business needs whatever i'm tired of business needs i don't care anymore i care about myself and if you're not going to make me into a lead then i'm leaving because i was a lead during holiday season whatever then they took it away because of budget reasons and now they're trying to get it back whatever like it's just a whole bunch of empty promises obviously this isn't the only thing but this is the breaking point for me where i'm like i had enough and in the job that i just interviewed for i will be working sundays and mondays not Sundays and Mondays, I'll be working Saturdays and Sundays, but it's a more precise schedule where I start like this and I end at this. It's a nine to five. I don't have to wake up at 4.45 in the morning and I don't have to come home at like 12 o'clock at night in the South Bronx. I'm happy about that. I mean, I haven't, I don't know if I got it yet, but I'm hoping I'm making the right decision. It's scary to leave sometimes, you know, job security and something you're comfortable with and something that you know inside and out to being in a new world, having to learn new rules and regulations and how to do this and that and responsibilities. So I am scared, but I'm hoping that I'm making the right decision. So I wanted to do some filming and stuff, but the footage that I took was slow motion, so that's out of the question. I'm charging on my other camera just because it's less likely to mess up on me and I don't want to waste more time. It's already 1.25, which is kind of late for me when it comes to content creation. But yeah, I just haven't been able to upload and edit on my channel when I have non-consecutive off days. And then when I do have off days, I kind of want to live a little. I kind of want to hang out with my friends because I don't get to see them. And so i have my second interview today i'm really nervous i am you know, trying to mentally prepare and also get a bunch of things ready because it's a hot day but it's supposed to rain and i hate wearing umbrellas and it's just a mess um i can't everything is riding on this job interview i kind of made the mistake of mentioning it a little too much I'm not a super superstitious, I'm not a super superstitious person, that's so repetitive. I'm not really a superstitious person, but I definitely regret mentioning it to a couple of people. So I'm hoping it still goes well. I'm really going to put my all into it. I want to prepare a little bit more than I did last time. And yeah, I'm really nervous. I Things have been really bad at my job. It's just so much micromanaging. I think I also have a shorter fuse for things. Like Things bother me more about my job now that I kind of just see... What a shift it's been compared to what it was before there were some structural changes and some new rules being enforced and it's just i think it's a little bit leaning towards micromanaging and i think it's really kind of defeating our team and the team morale uh, and at this point there's nothing i can do and i don't even want to like I, I dislike going to work and that was never a thing for me i know a lot of people never liked my job from the beginning i really did i loved it up until a couple months ago I would say probably mid to end of January where things kind of just got a little bit weird and there was an airplane flying by. Welcome to living near an airport. I've been having some major memory card issues and I'm just about to place an order now. So that way I can have a memory card for my Sony Alpha whatever the heck camera. This is my main filming camera even though I do have some DSLRs. They're just the lenses are a little messed up on those. I need a memory card just for that one and a memory card just for this one. When I move the memory card from camera to camera it like has to reformat and it's just acting weird so I'd rather just have it all separately. I've been unhappy with my job and now they're also kind of doing what they want with my work schedule and I think that's really inappropriate and it's all about business needs but i think you should be more strategic in the way you do it because you're burning out some of your best employees 
and they don't care and I know they don't care I know this is just capitalism this is corporations like I get it but it's just so depressing to think about it in that capacity I wanted to believe that my job was better and it's definitely not better than that oh my gosh another airplane so if everything goes well today they should get back to me about my position whether I got it or not by tomorrow which is Friday so at least there's a clear-cut deadline for when I'm getting my results the second that I do I will put in my two weeks out and then also depending on what they what the start time is I wouldn't mind starting right away I mean I would like to give my job two weeks notice but the way they've been acting I wouldn't mind bumping it down to one I feel like two weeks notice is a courtesy and I generally try to give it sort of but in this case I, I wouldn't mind cutting those two weeks short making it into one if it means starting my new job sooner it just kind of depends plus if i stay those two weeks like my job like my schedule has been so bad at my job that i almost don't even want to do it i'm setting up my tripod because i have to film a video as soon as this camera finishes charging another airplane it just never ends i don't know what the preferred start date is i know they have a couple options for april which is the month we're currently on and it's going to be a couple people being hired for this position this is the package that i'm going to be opening up i'm filming a video for my bunny janie channel i'm going to close that window maybe we won't hear so many airplanes okay i found it i'm going to place an order in a little bit for amazon i hate amazon and i'm trying not to support them but i doubt i got the, i got amazon prime right when um Daisy Jones and the Six was coming on, and now I haven't even finished watching it. I'm, I'm a little bored, but since I have Amazon for a couple more days, I figured I'd place one big final order and then just be done with it. Um, Amazon has played a role in Book Depository Closing, which is the website where I would get a lot of my uh, UK release books. Like, not super special editions, but it was just fun to, like, be able to get books and have free international shipping. If I really was about that life and wanted to cut Amazon out of my life completely, I would get a Nook because I'm looking for an e-reader. My Kindle never woke up again. It's a long story, and I, w I originally had a Nook back in the day, but spec-wise, unfortunately, the Kindle is still better even though the Nook has a pretty pink version. All right, 75%. That should be pretty good. I'm just gonna plug it in. My camera is right here. Zoomed in. All right, here we go. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeannie. If you're new here, I do videos on Squishmallow, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, Lashfly, Sanrio. Basically anything that I think is cute. Lately, I've been sprinkling in some hair care and skincare videos. Okay, so I'm out of the house. I had my job interview. I changed and now, oh my God, I almost tripped. <laughs> and now I'm headed to Gil's house. I have a full video as to why Gil and I don't live together technically, but I'm in his borough now. Interview went well and they'll notify me tomorrow. I just realized I couldn't film much while I was there because it would give away, it's a very distinct place. But if I put in my two weeks, if they tell me I'm good and I put in my two weeks, then I will let you know where I worked before because that's also a very recognizable place. And originally I was gonna do a tell-all about my other place, about how bad it is, but I feel like I've come to peace with it. And I just wanna get out and it looks like it's gonna rain. And I hope I can make it home before it does because I don't have a, I don't have a hood. I mean, I do, but it's not that strong and I hate umbrellas, but I did carry an umbrella earlier but I just realized I left it and my arm is getting tired. So I'll check back with you guys later. So disappointed and angry in myself. So I did end up getting the job. I have footage that just went missing from all of my memory cards. I double checked even though I just got one for this camera. I don't know what happened, but I did end up getting the job and I started my first week. It, it officially ended yesterday. So I worked nine days straight from my old job into this new job, and it was a lot. I do really love the new job. It's not retail, and that in itself is 
enough to be grateful for however i am now getting used to a different industry and how looking to see how i can move up within the company or in this industry as a whole whether it's with this company or not um because ideally i would want a job as most people would that is not so front facing mine isn't that much luckily like we're going to be rotating and i'm going to be learning different facets to this industry i know i'm being so vague right now i will get into it later on but hey at least you know that i worked at harry potter new york at least i was finally able to tell you guys that i think i don't even know if i if i found that footage but my first week went well it's just kind of getting the hang of things when you go from knowing every single aspect of your job to being somewhere completely new and questioning everything it's hard it's hard i'm also kind of struggling with paying school kind of the route that i was hoping to take is not an, a viable option for me because of the debt that i'm currently paying off so i'm kind of concerned <laughs> um but that's gonna be a video for another day if you made it to the end of this vlog i'm so sorry that i lost so much footage i really don't know what happened and i've just been checking every memory card over and over again and i don't really label them because i get worried since that's being inserted into my computer that a sharpie is gonna affect it even though if i let it dry it shouldn't affect it uh moving forward i'm definitely gonna be more careful i'm gonna buy a separate sd card holder for all of my cards because i've outgrown the one that i have which comes i think holds like eight cards or six cards or 12 maybe and that even that is not enough so i'm gonna buy this sd card holder right now so that i never make that mistake again as to where my footage is but yeah i got the job i'm super excited my last day at my old job at harry potter new york was bittersweet i didn't want to do anything i had no motivation whatsoever um and it was really hard saying bye to people that i've known for almost two years it was really hard saying bye to my best friends because i just think something changes when you leave a job like it's not to say friendships are a matter of convenience when you're working at a job, but seeing each other every day to not seeing each other every day is hard. I think it, friendships inevitably do change. Only very few can last through that 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 shift in, in lifestyle. So time will tell um, because I'm a very like texty person and I'm like talking and like sharing all these things. And if you're not sending anything back to me, I'm going to feel some type of way. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm going to try to catch up on sleep and start new with vlogs and stuff um, because it's been such a hard week and I had a meltdown. Like I was literally crying. I don't know if you can tell. Like Everything was going wrong this morning. My first off day, I wanted to sleep in and it wasn't able to. So I started hanging up some prints. I'm going to include the pictures that I took. I'm putting up all of my prints on this wall, all of my cutesy whimsical prints just to have some wall decorations. But anyway, if you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for your patience. Give me another shot. I promise my vlogs are gonna get better. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.